Live, ladies, gentlemen, those in between or neither. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. With the release of 4.1, that means a set of new banners and that means a test run. So, that is effectively going to showcase today. We are going to be doing uh, one, two, three, four, five test runs. And after that, I'm actually going to be building a little bit of pity towards next character, which I think will be in in the second set of banners. It, it depends on how well these playtests actually go. So our first playtest is our new, our Fontaine character, uh, Mr. New. Mr. Nouvellet, and he is a Hydro Catalyst user. Now, let's enter in the quote unquote domain, and then once we get in there, we can actually see what we're working with and what his kit is. Well, I shouldn't say <clears throat> what his kit is, but what the game gives him and, and, and go from there. Keep in mind, um, I might be pulling on, on the banner. Other people are definitely going to be pulling on the banner. You have to if you do not want to. At the end of the day, this is just going to show you guys what... <clears throat> How these characters, you know, kind of run. Um, if you want, like, a full-on build guide or something, there are other people that you can um, find on YouTube. Sevi's build guides are really good. Jello Impact is... He's okay. He's not exactly what I would like, but I don't mind. Um, trying to think... Uh, <clears throat> Moga is actually another one that is very good for builds. Now, let's take a look at our team here. Okay, we've got Nouvellet, Sucrose, Fischl, and Yao Yao. This looks like a Bloom team. And if I open up the character menu, does it actually- Yes, it does! Lovely! So we have a level 80, nu 80 Nouvellet here with his signature weapon. Um, it's only at R1. Granted, it doesn't really need any uh, refined anywhere, considering it's also level 80. Um, HP is increased by 16% when, when current HP increases or, or decreases. Charge attack damage will be increased by 14% for 4 seconds to a maximum of 3 stacks. Uh, this effect can only be triggered once every 0.3 seconds when the character has three stacks or a third stack. Next duration refreshes, eight energy will be restored. This energy restoration effect can be triggered once every 12 seconds. Very interesting. Um, I assume this is predominantly an HP build. So they gave him Marcius Hunter, which I believe that's Fontaine. So, <coughs> and that's a four-piece set. So with the two-piece, normal and charge attack damage is increased by 15%. Uh, four-piece when the current HP increases or decreases. Current rate is increased for a ma uh, by 12% for a ma for five seconds, maximum of three stacks. Yeah, that that makes sense. Um, are these predominantly? Oh, I can't view the, the actual stats. Okay. Um, based on what his kit is, I think it's a full HP set. Or at least it wouldn't surprise me if it's a full on HP set. So we have Sucrose with a four piece of uh, iridescent veneer. This is basically your standard Sucrose. Um,. What does she have for a weapon? She's got Sacrificial Pack. Very good. Um, after dealing the passive ability on Sacrificial Fragments, after damaging an opponent with the skill, 
the skill has a 40% chance to um, end its own cooldown every 30 seconds. Um, I think that's just the standard, um, I think that's the standard ability for, for the Sacrificial Nine in general, because I know Sacrificial Sword does the same thing. Uh, Fischl, I think you've got Thundering Fury, or at least it wouldn't surprise me. No, you have a two-piece Gladiator Finale and a two-piece Thundering Fury on. So your electro damage is boosted and so is your attack. That makes sense. And what kind of bow that did they give you? They gave you the stringless. Uh, which increases your elemental skill and burst damage by 24%. That is a very good bow for you. Um, especially considering as much as I, I like Herschel as a character, we're predominantly going to be using her for Oz. And last, but certainly not least, we have our little Yao Yao with a with a Favonis Lance. Very nice. Um, so effectively what the Favonis Lance does when she crits, there is a very good chance that they will generate um, extra energy particles. And that can only occur once every 12 seconds. And what? I think you've got a full set of Deep Wood. Yeah, you've got a full set of Deep Wood. Deep wood memories on you. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So, basically, this is your. I don't want to say standard bloom team, but this is certainly a solid bloom team. So, we are going to start the challenge now. But, if you do not mind. Uh, going, to, going into Yao Yao to drop the radishes. I'm going to fish for Oz. Oz, if you could. Thank you. And we'll just blast him. Wow, that is. Wow! Get beam. Move away is effectively a laser. Justice is blindsided. An oversight on my part. Nope. 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 Let's let's get out of the way here. Yeah, you Justice are effectively a cannon that I cannot time. I'm very well to save my life, but hello! That is... that is amazing. And just giving some others... Come on. Cause yeah! Cannon's actually got a cooldown too. Be sanctified. It's oh, that is beautiful. Okay, Nuvolet. Nuvolet's not going to be the character for me, but he is very fun to play. <laughs> there is something about just a giant water cannon. <laughs> That's amazing. And I hope Genshin did not freeze on me. No, it did not. Good. Um, our next character will be Hu Tao. Now, Hu Tao is actually a favorite. He's one of the favorite characters for my co-op partner. Mainly because she's got this Adam's Family style humor that is just very, very nice. And I do admit, I do. I was a character. However, she's got some uh, I quirks. Yeah, we're just gonna call them quirks in her kit. That 
I don't particularly jive with. Alrighty, and this is what I don't like about the test runs is that you don't, you can't automatically go back to the test run menu to select your next character, which makes it a little, a little harder to do. Our 20 extra primos and some lumen. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's, it's a flower that basically looks like a starfish. Nice. And some trans continuous pearls, which you can only get underwater. Hello, who tell? Let's jump right in. Artifact set they've got on who tell. I wonder. Might be Crimson Witch? I mean, what first comes to mind is... Ah, uh, Crimson Witch. Let's take a look at everybody here. So, obviously, we've got our... Um, which is her, her signature weapon. Uh, HP is, uh, is increased by 20%. And there's an attack bonus when the wielder is less than 50 hp um for those who have played Hon honkai star Rail, she is effectively blade in, uh in this roster and that's what i don't particularly enjoy about it okay she does have a four piece crimson witch okay nice and for Zing Cho, we've got two piece no blast and two piece heart of death for him. Which is actually a, fa a fairly good set, considering his burst damage is boosted and also his hydro damage is boosted. And Sing Cho is just one of those characters that I really, really like like to use. We Sacrificial Sword, that is one of his best picks, mainly because like Sacrificial Fragments, there's a chance that ends early which means double the rain swords double the fun Jean Ling, one of my favorites okay she's got dragon's bane on her um on the topic of dragon's bane i did open up dragon's spine today most of my time might actually be dedicated to going through dragon's spine and getting that spear uh, because the bane of flame and water increases damage by opponents Affected by Hydro or Hydro by 20%. This is basically a very good um, spear if you want to use for, for bait teams. She had a two-piece Noblesse. I mean, I understand why, because you want... Um, you want your Pyronado to be as strong as possible. I personally... Mm, I think gambler would also be a decent option for her considering it boosts your your skill as opposed to your burst and then of course the two piece current uh two piece crimson witch that that makes sense for her considering pyro layla <laughs> it's been a while and oh you've got a full piece blizzard strayer i don't think we'll be doing a bunch of freeze on 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 this team though blizzard strayer is a very good set for for layla i assume that this is your standard hp set considering that's what layla's main capacity is at least in terms of meta i don't know doing the damage set and she's also got a favonius sword very nice Okay, let's let's see how this goes. Um, we're going to start as Layla so that way we can set up her shield right away. Start the challenge. Not now. Set up her shield, go into some show, set up his swords, 
go into a hotel and just go nuts. I, I get it. I get it. I understand. Uh, going back into Layla to set up a mobile, and we're also going to set up a shield again. Going into Sing Show to have his burst go off. And so we're just gonna add in the extra sword. Oops, accidentally froze myself. That's fine. That happens. Mattel and her little ghost fee. I, I, wow. Okay. Um, drop the shield, pop back into Hu Tao. Come on. Uh, we're getting a little close to the edge there, and I don't want to do that. Um, make sure that our butterfly is up. Let's see, show for a moment. And this. And we're gonna drop Goba, and then we're gonna do. The Pyronado. Pop into Layla. Pop into Gutao to drop her ghosty. That was very satisfying. Hello, Rude Guard! Then go into Layla. Real quick, just to drop the shield again. Just there we go. Stars are very satisfying this go round. And I under I completely understand why why my co-op partner enjoys Hu Tao so much. Cause yeah, she's she's fun. You just gotta be real careful and make sure that you have a shielder in your party. Because if you don't, well, eh. Things could go poorly. Uh, this could go real poorly. But now we actually get into the four stars of the roster. Or at least of the Tasteron. You also use silk flowers and whopper flower nectar. I, I need those for a couple other characters. Starting with Fischl. Now, Fischl is not my favorite in terms of kit wise. There's a reason a lot of people refer to her by her raven's name, Oz. And yeah, that's kind of what she's good for. See if she'll actually surprise me. And before we get too far into this, okay. I created another you. Still the stringless, still the two piece gladiator, two piece thunder and fury. However, we've got some new faces here. We've got Amber, which I'm surprised with. Uh, she's got prototype crescent. Charged attacks hit on weak points, increased speed and attack speed returns. Interesting. What do you have for artifacts, my dear? Uh, two piece gladiator, two piece crimson witch. Sense. I haven't used amber in a very long, a very long while, so this is going to be interesting. And you, you glorious bastard. Hello, Kaya. Alright, Favonia sword on you, which makes sense. And then what do you think for Arda? You've got a full blizzard. I would not do a full blizzard on on Kaya. Especially if you're only doing Fischl and Amber alongside you. I would Goes to Gladiator right away. And then maybe just a two keys. Uh boat and blizzard strayer. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't go the full set unless you are putting him on, on a freeze team. 
And we're just gonna start this trial with Kaya. All right, let's start this challenge. Oh, Hydro Slimes. Yay. I'll flip into Fischl for Oz. Pop into Kaya again. Sure, as first goes. And then we'll go into Fischl. Herburst. Herburst got Herburst that we can just drop on people. That was actually very satisfying to do. I'm genuinely surprised. Oh yeah, you can stop with you can stop with the puns any day of the week. Ah. Uh, okay. And here I thought I fell off the stage. <laughs> okay. Cool. team was not was not terrible i so as the main driver of that team though i was using kaya because i prefer frozen uh i prefer frozen as opposed to any other type of reaction that that's just a me thing <laughs> That's just a me thing. Uh, who is our next character? Ah, uh, yes. The next character in question is one of my favorites, Sing Cho. Also, considering that so many people, um, so many people usually get him early. If you don't, I highly recommend that you pull on the banner to try and get him because he is just that useful so many team compositions and in in terms of overworld travel because all you really have to do is set up a source and then flip out to somebody else all right i assume they're still doing the two-piece heart two-piece noblesse hi kaya <laughs> that this is the quote-unquote perfect team to uh to try this with and I don't need to show you Kaya because I've already done that. So we're just gonna set it up and then we're gonna go into Kaya. And this is essentially your main your main strat until I don't wanna say until you get something better, because that just it it outlines your face. It's very disrespectful to see Joe if I say that. Um, but he just applies so much hydro, it's amazing. I think a character that would be on par with him is is Yolan, who's a five star and just had her banner rerun recently. By recently I mean a couple of patches ago. Along with with Lenny. So And just a smidge. Make sure. Rain swords do not stop. Thinking this team is actually bigger than bigger than it is. There we go. Nice and simple. I like that. I, I like that a lot. And then our last character is Diona. Now Diona's in the same boat as Fischl for me because she's a user and I, contrary to real life, Archery and I don't really mix when it comes to games. That's no fault on Hoyo, that, that is completely a me thing. Whew. Though I do wonder, are they going to do a Superconduct team with her or are they going to go with another freeze comp? I wouldn't be surprised if they went fruit. Ah, uh, freeze. Sure that we pick up Sing Cho. Those stuff. 
which is three more damage masks, three silk flowers, which is very nice, and some enhancement ore. Diona. <laughs> Hello, small one. <laughs> because she is. She is small. She is not a child, but she is small. Alright, Diana. Let's see what they gave you. Oh, we have a new... Looks like this is going to be a superconduct. To the sacrificial bell, which... Again, uh, can reduce cooldown time for skills. Did they give you? They gave you Maiden Beloved. I didn't think you could heal. Can you heal? I see pause. That that's what sets up your shield. Oh, well, wait, hang on. You can't heal. That if you can't heal, what? <laughs> but now that we've got our new member, at least for this trial, we have Lisa, and she's got the the Winsef, which is a which is another catalyst that is very very nice to have. When a character takes the field, they will gain a random theme song for 10 seconds. This can only occur once every 30. Uh, attack is increased. So, exitative. Attack is increased. Aria uh, increases all elemental damage by 48%. And interlude is elemental mastery is increased by 240. That is a lovely song! <laughs> that is a lovely song. I, I like it very much. And they gave you a full piece of thundering fury. Uh, increases damage caused by overload, electrocharge, superconduct, and hyperloom by 40%. The damage is conferred by aggravate is increased by 20 when quicken or the aforementioned uh, reactions are triggered. The cooldown is decreased by a second. Can only occur once every 0.8 seconds. Okay. We are going to... Start with Diona, actually, and we are going to her shield and go into Kaya, and then we go into Lisa. Need to... This might be a purely Diona. Iona and Kaya thing if Lisa is not going to work. Which that's fine. Not not every character can do can do their thing well. Unfortunately. Uh, we do sign we do signature mix. Drop a Oh, that's a healing field. That is that is actually really cool. That that is a healing heal. And the lantern is not ready to go. You're in for a little shot. But we're, a we're doing closer. okay. We're doing okay with Lisa, and I'm surprised by that, actually. Uh, pop into Diana. The, the Abyss Mage was so was so strong that if you Proceeded to break my computer. Come on. Just a, little, just a little longer. Computer. Just a little longer. And now we finally have the lantern. Come on. Just a little more. There you go. That took longer than it needed to. Honestly, I would use Diona as a support. I mean, that's basically what she is. She is a very 
she's a good support if you don't already have a shielder like Layla or Zhongli or Noelle. <laughs> so all in all, considered, the banner is actually not that bad this time around. There's something for everybody. Let, let's let's just put it that way. There's something for everybody. And now we'll just collect our reward. And we will get to the pole. Oh, that whoops. <laughs> Wrong button. I do wish that they didn't have two four star bow users this go around, but eh, you can't have everything you want. Mm. I don't care. We want to leave the domain because we've already got the rewards. We don't need to. We don't need to do it again. Just make sure that I grab Diona's reward. Before I start pulling. It's not that much, but it's... Yeah. It's materials that I can use towards other characters if I do not pull her at the, at the end of the day. I grab, grab that and, and the, the extra Mora is always nice. So with all of that being said, and my spreadsheet is open, let's get Ching, shall we? Now I am going to do it on the hotel banner because out of the two five stars that is the one that i like the most and i'm checking my standard fates just to make sure uh we do have fifteen thousand primos and we're only going to do like two three temples so shouldn't be too hard of a dent to replace Pull number one. That is a four star. I wonder which four star it'll be. The black tassel, that'll be used for experience. Blood Tainted Greatsword, that'll probably be used for experience. Diona! Okay, cool. Let me open up my. my my sheet real quick now the only problem with the sheet is i don't know what i'm gonna do if i end up getting two in a row like that <laughs> not expect chong yun to show up hello chong yun <laughs> chong yun There we go. Ferris Shadow. Emerald Orb. Raven Bow. Slingshot. And Fischl? Oh. Okay. I'm just going to mark her down as Oz in, in my... Um, here right now, and this is on character banner. Genuinely surprised. I think this is the first time I've gotten three four stars in a row. Well, I shouldn't say in, in a row, but in the same poll. And one of them is one of them is a constellation, which. I need to mark down. Um, I don't know 
what my Trung Yun is at at the moment. So I'm just going to mark this down that Chong Yun has a constellation and I will fill this in once I get the proper proper information for him. It's either a C a C1 or C2 at this point. Uh for for Chong Yun. Still, that was a very good poll. Anyway. So now that we are out of intertwined fates, we are dipping into Primo Gems fully now. Second pull. Here we go. Second ten pull. And it's another four star. I okay, cool. Sky Rider's great sword. I not great sword, but Sky Rider Sword, cool steel, Sharpshooter's Oath. Another Sky Rider. Another Sky Rider. Another Sky Rider. Jeez. So many swords. Another cool steel. And I'm good. I need it because I've got Sing Cho. Now, I already have Sing Cho to C1, so this is a C2 for me. Which is very, very nice. Uh, and. C2. And I I will not put the character's name next to the constellation if that is the only only character I draw. There is a very good chance that Sing Cho is the only character that I pull out of this. Fair Shadow, Sky Rider. Yep, okay, that's it. I've already completed my, my objective. My goal is to primarily build Sing Cho. Very nice. Final pull for the night, or at least uh, final ten pull. Let's see what we get. That is another four star. Okay, cool. Harbinger of Dawn. Slingshot. Skyrider. Harbinger of Dawn. Sharpshooter Oath, Fair Shadow, Blood Tainted, The Flute! I'm not sure if this is a sword or a claymore. I did not think that we would be getting a weapon, but we got a weapon. Okay. That is it. Let's let's see what you are real quick. So you are a four star attack based sword. Core normal recharge attacks for harm a harmonic triggers the power of music and deals one hundred percent attack damage to surrounding opponents. Harmonics last up to thirty seconds, with a maximum of one can be gained every point five seconds. I don't know if I should build this in any capacity, but it's not a bad sword. It's just, well, a sword. I was hoping for a character, in, in all honesty, but I'll take it. <laughs> All of the and I let's actually check to see where Chong Yun is at in terms of the constellations. Uh, constellation for Sing Cho, Rainbow upon the Azure Sky, which actually extends the duration of of his of his burst by three seconds, and decreases the hydro resistance of opponent's head. That is very nice. I love it. I love it. I have a C2 for Sing Cho. Yay. Uh, and we got Chong Yun. This is a. When I had Chong Yun built at one point, I do not have him built anymore. Uh, Ice Unleashed. 
The last attack of Chung Yun's normal attack combo releases three ice blades. Uh, each blade deals 50% of Chung Yun's attack as cryo damage to all opponents in its path. Honestly, that's not bad. If I ever want to build Chung Yun again, he's definitely going to be a. I think he might be a sub DPS given the fact that his skills in infusion. I don't think he would be a. I think he would be a main DPS for me. Okay, so that's that's a C1 for Chong Yun, a C2 for Sing Cho, Diona, and Oz. Nice! I managed to get I managed to get all of the characters except for the five star. Which honestly that that makes sense. But with all of that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's stream. Make sure to leave a follow and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I go live. On the YouTube channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe over there so you don't miss a recap. If you're feeling particularly generous, I have a coffee fi link in the about section of the Twitch channel and in the description of the videos. Any money generated through that link will go back to assets that will help this channel. Additionally, an artist friend of a friend is going through some medical uh, issues right now, specifically dental surgery, and where we are, that is expensive. If you would like to help out, uh, her GoFundMe is in the About section of the Twitch channel and in the description of the YouTube videos as well. I hope to see you guys sometime this weekend for